you so much for staying with KTN News. It's time for Open Mic. And I have three giveaways tonight. All right? See this right here? Three giveaways. And it's in regards to what we'll be discussing tonight. You know the new system, 26333? Three, three, three? Yep. This right here helps you understand why it's important and really more about it and the value that it will be bringing. So tonight we really want to be discussing, do our curriculums in Kenya, our education curriculums really allow young people to face the world outside there? Does it prepare us in the right way, all right? So this evening we have a fantastic panel to help us really um, talk about this. Um, closer to me is um, Richard Oketch, who is a banker. Richard, thank you so much for joining us. Next to Richard is Amos, Amos Kaburu, who is an education expert. Asante Sana for joining us. Ashukuru. And Aseli, on your end. I'm going to be here with Rembo Flani. And I'm Tacey Moga. She's a HR consultant. Right next to me is a gentleman. And I say, my yeye, ye ni life coach. Like, ni emotional intelligence in the specialty. Yaki. So, I'm going to start. Right. I love PR for the National Steering Committee of Curriculum. And I'm going Titus. Gatia. All right, thank you so much yes. for joining us. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, allow me to just start with you, Titus. This new curriculum, 26333, three, three. not so many Kenyans have really understood it. Yeah. What makes it any different from 844, of course, apart from the number system, mm -hmm. but what makes it really different? What value is it bringing? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, that's a question that I think a lot of Kenyans are asking themselves right now. You know, why are we changing? What are we changing to? And I'd say that the difference between 844 and the new proposed curriculum, the 2633, um, is like day and night. Right. The difference is that much. And uh, this is because, remember, we are in the 21st century, which is a century that has no precedent. Mm -hmm. You know, in earlier times, you could go back to history books and find uh, similar solutions that could apply to our present uh, problems. However, today uh, we are dealt with challenges that have no precedent. There was no time in history where there were three billion people connected on Facebook that you can show me in any written history. So that's why this new curriculum, this new proposed curriculum, which might take effect from 2018, uh, if all goes well, is proposing to prepare a student mm -hmm. Uh, to be in alignment with the 21st century dynamics. Mm -hmm. And you know, the challenges are immense. Uh, the job market is no longer the same. In fact, earlier, before coming in, uh, you know, into the studio, we were discussing with somebody that um, in Europe, uh, machines are already replacing tellers in supermarkets. You know, whereby they're, they're this, all these automated uh, machines that can, uh, you just go do your shopping, and then you just, uh, you know, it, with the barcode, it reads everything, and then you just, you bill it, and you go out. So right. very soon, as that creeps into Africa, probably will not even have tellers in supermarkets. So the job market is so dynamic, and that's why a different type of person needs to be prepared mm -hmm. in an education system. Speaking of the job market, Sarah, you sit on quite a number of interviews. You're a HR consultant. Sure. Do you think our education system really prepares the young people for, you know, what's, um, what's to come afterwards, especially after KCSC? Um, since I honestly speaking, I don't think it does. Right. Because we are, we have a system that is just very generic. You go to school, I don't want to do science or physics or whatever, mm -hmm. but I am tailored to do that physics, which will never help me. I don't like it or I, my, I want to be a farmer. What has physics got to do with me being a farmer? Mm -hmm. Or I want to be... You know, something else that doesn't require biology or physics or whatever, but then our system, because that's how we have to do it, then doesn't really give me that, a, that um, variety of after that, then I'm stuck with a certain career just because of a certain subject that I did not choose or I chose, you know. Is the, uh, is the Kenyan government ready for this? reforms, curriculum reforms. Are the Kenyans ready? Are the students ready? Because it's going to affect everyone's cycle of life. Thank you. I think the answer is that we have a perfect opportunity. We ought to seize the moment. Mm -hmm. um, it's never easy to have a government commit itself. So much as we'll be a bit pessimistic, I think of, I feel that it's the right time for us to seize the opportunity and um, demand that these reforms are implemented. So it's quite encouraging. Mm -hmm. Over what she's saying, I think that um, the world of work is a little bit conventional. I don't think that 844 doesn't prepare children for the place of work. I think it's just those of us in places of opportunity, we are a little bit rigid. Mm -hmm. And I've tried it in the last four years. Every time I have got a complex project, I just involve 
a young person with no experience, and it's amazing. That's why it's only 844 where you trained to be an economist, but you become a very good teacher. You train to be a teacher, you become a perfect banker. So I think that sometimes the world of work is a little bit too rigid in how we look at these graduates. Maybe we should start asking ourselves, rather than saying that they are not ready for the world of work, mm -hmm. would we allow them to demonstrate to us what they have learned? Mm. What channel is it, Richard? Oh. Is well. <laughs> oh, maybe just. Yes, but you see, the thing is, um, you have gone to school, you've done accounting, probably you've done the business uh, management or business studies in high school. Then out of that, you want to you go become an accountant. You come to my office, and I don't have an accounting job, but I have some other job. Okay, I'm not just going to tell you, okay, fine, have this other job. Because what we do is, what's, what are your qualifications based on what that, what you have done, you get. It's not that we are rigid, it's just that that's how the system is flowing, you know? I also belong to the job market and give jobs, that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying, mm -hmm. that I think is quite unfair to rate young people that they are not qualified, mm -hmm. because you rather, in fact, I have a big problem with people practicing human resources, including one that I live with in the house, <laughs> because sometimes they're a little bit too rigid in how they judge these young people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to accept that we're in a different generation, mm -hmm. and I mean, maybe a few years ago, if you are dressed the way he's dressed this way, you will not get a job. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that yeah. we need to give opportunities to these young people rather than judging them that you don't have the qualification. It's not because about the qualifications, the other, it's about the, the, the education system what's a, what's that's preparing them. Richard, yeah. is, Richard, I want to hear from him because yeah. you did international relations. Yes, I did. But you're in banking. Yes, I am. So what do you, where do you think the disconnect is? Uh, well, you see, there's this period between looking for a job and getting a job and the jobs that come through, yes. many young people are actually in that phase in life. Yeah? Mm. And so for me, the thing was, I applied to many, many different jobs with regards to my profession and my vocation. But um, what opened up was a job in the banking industry. Mm. Now, because you are yearning for work experience, you can't just say, this is not what I studied, so I'm not going to take this job. My mindset was, was on getting that work experience. Mm. Of course, uh, many people ask you, so, so what's the end game? What are you doing here? Oh, well, the education system has failed you and such things. But you just need the work experience and the exposure. Yeah. That's, exposure. That's what I yeah. Yeah. exposure yeah. is more critical. Okay, that's a good one. But yeah. I'd like to ask yes, yes. Titus. Yes. The education system, it has idea, it has revived all industries. It has a fishery. Kuna mtu by the Twitter anasema tulikuwa tunasoma story ya grasshopper kwa nini because in this day and age yeah. 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 but easy yeah. industries zingine zimekufa kama mm. fi, uh, fishing and stuff like that mm. uh, historic agriculture vitu kama hizo mm. uh, sports mm. art may incorporate hapo to make sure that all these people out here yeah. wako able to mm. get the right careers yeah. like usifanye career ju mzazi wako anataka mm. In fact, it goes back to the, the original question. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what, what's the difference between the 844 and this? And, uh, what, what, what exactly are we focusing on? And uh, it's important to highlight to the nation that uh, this new curriculum, the proposed curriculum, is what is called a competence-based curriculum. In other words, from the word go, from the early childhood all the way through the development of the child all through the years, we are focusing on trying to find out what their competence is. And rather than just have this one exam, which is a savior or a destroyer, uh, in the name of a uh, KCP or KCC, 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 we want to evaluate this guy from Childhood. grade one. Mm -hmm. And want to see in which areas it's called continuous assessment. So that is one major difference between 844. Of course, 844, uh, probably not work out for a lot of youth mm -hmm. because they felt that they studied, they were forced to study things that they didn't want or they went into an area just because of getting a job and that is okay for the time that it was. In the 20th century that was okay, going to school to work hard to get good grades, to get a job. A well-paid job. That worked. <laughs> and that well is the other challenge. Yeah, that is the other challenge economic, also. For economic reasons. That's the other, you see, also, that's the other challenge, because of, it was mostly for economic reasons. So yeah. people, your parents would tell you something like, you study this course uh, because it's a market. Mm -hmm. And th that, that was the 20th century. But in the I... 21st century, things are moving so fast mm -hmm. that even the best economists cannot tell me what the economy will look like in the next two weeks. Wow. Wow. 
na kila time si udunda kwa street si utaka ku make sure that mu understand ukitaka kujua kama mseni chop unakuta na ngana eta au unamuliza swali the same round mm -hmm. tuliko tunauliza watu kama wako kwa, uh, wenye wanafanya courses different kama hizo courses walijichagulia na kama walijichagulia mapareo zao wamesema wamesema nini kuihusu cheki hawasi wakibonga hiyo story my parents were against it so i first had to study what they wanted then i work my way through doing the second one now that the one that i want to do in a way i regret that i wasn't able to stand up for myself in such a situation yeah maybe it could have been better it turned out better my dad was but my mom was kind of worried about maybe it doesn't bring up income yeah, she was all about the money bringing, yeah. but my dad was supportive. Like my friend and I'm an art, but parents are going to take up any architecture. So we got to do and disagree, but finally they came to agree. inaonekana hii generation watu wamepatia opportunities ya kuji express vile wanajisikia tumerudi studio this is open mic na nataka kujua hii swali ni very simple yeah. mimi nataka kujua nyinyi watu wote hapa 844 ili wasaidia to get where you are eh hey, to get where you are yeah i'm not yeah go ahead you really I, I, i think that um, not that I, not that i think i can affirm that 844 has made me what i am mm -hmm. um, the challenge with 844 is the question of exclusion to a large extent, but this is a philosophical discussion because the turn of the 20th century is where we introduced what we call the human capital movement, which now began looking at education from an investment perspective, that education could be used to meet the development needs of a society. Mm -hmm. Say, for instance, education would be used to train doctors, engineers, and such. Otherwise, the original definition of education was not supposed to train people. It was just the pursuit of, of, of um, what what Aristotle and his teacher called Plato, whose teacher was um, Socrates, were looking at the search for absolute truth. Mm -hmm. So all that you are interested in education was to look for the truth. Mm -hmm. But right now, we've got a lot of challenge in the sense that people are looking at education in terms of how can it help me to meet my material and non-material needs. Mm -hmm. And that's where now we need to have a good balance. Otherwise, for me, I think that 844 has made me what I am. <laughs> 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 Nilisa Because, okay, I went to a typical public high school and then, but first of all, say at a private um, primary school, then public high school, then private university. And um, the different levels of exposure that you get in that 844 system helps because I gained certain skills, yeah? Perseverance being one of them. In high school. <laughs> in high school, yes. especially yes. in high school. Independence. When you write, <laughs> when, when we give you our CVs and we say works well under pressure, yes. it's because of the type of school some of us went, went to. to. We, it's not even at the job market. It's yeah. actually <laughs> the history and the experiences. And then you see, yeah. you adjust to different um, environments yeah. and you also get to meet very many different types of people, which helps your interaction. What about the education? What, what about I mean, the education? The education, education, the education, is, the education is important. The education is important. But you, see, bio. but you see, some, 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 some subjects like physics, geography. I was terrible at physics, I won't lie. Um, geography, obviously, okay, I'm going KCC and Kaivi. You know, KCC was in the curriculum. Eh? You have to be told the landmarks of Kenya. Yeah. But the main thing is, there are some courses, I feel, are not relevant mm -hmm. to certain psychometric skills. If you are able to look at a child's psychometric skills and uh, personality traits and types, you are able to tailor their skills towards investing in their future. That brings me to my next question. Um, for you, Sarah, you also help young people, especially uh, our KCSC leavers, really try to figure out, what do I want to do with my life? Mm -hmm. What do I want to study in university? What do I want to become? Um, what is your experience with young people so far in that area? Oh, Zinzi, I will tell you, our offices are flooded every single day, and parents are worried because there are so many kids who've gone first year, they're doing finance, second year, they're doing economics, the third year, they're doing uh, his, whatever, you know, journalism. And it's every year, you, they are in first year for three years because they're trying to figure out themselves. Yeah. I will speak about myself. I have gone through law, I did law, I was done. I did communication, I was done. I did HR, I was done. I've wasted time, darling. I've wasted a lot of time because of 84444, because I didn't know if, if my parents would have figured it out or the system would have nurtured me from the start, mm. okay? 
to the point that I discover myself, instead of wasting time in law school, then after that in communication school, then now where I am at, at HR level, then it would have been easier. So what I'm simply saying is young people come to our offices every single day, and parents are concerned every single day because of this problem. Do you th uh -huh. But then we, as he said, this we have psycho, uh, um, you know, competency assessments that would be able to help these kids because that's where we start from. These people walk to us after KCC. What do you want to do? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Th that is a very common statement. Okay, I, I, I want Titus to jump in because yeah. you, you yeah. also sort of handled emotional intelligence. Yes. Comment. Yeah, in fact, interestingly, how I got into the work with the education started with my work as an emotional intelligence coach. And which is that when you're training in organizations, of course you're training the staff in the companies. And uh, one of the most common things was people who are not satisfied with their jobs, people who are there because they studied, because we told them go study this course and they finished and now they are working. But one of the interesting things which I wanted to highlight with, uh, which uh, he also alluded to, with regard to the origin original sense or essence of education, uh, I was surprised when I discovered that the word education comes from a Latin word, educo, which means to rear, to develop, or to draw out from within. Which means from the first uh, day you go to school, what that establishment should be wanting to know is who is Zinzi? Mm. Who, what exactly does she have within her? What, what are her competencies and all that? Yeah. And then we nurture you along uh, that line. And you see, uh, you know this famous quote about uh, you, you can't judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. Mm. It mm. will fail that exam, mm. no matter how many times it keeps doing tuition and uh, all those things. So in essence, uh, for me, it's a, it's a concern that most young people don't even know. That question, I, that, I that don't answering know. that question, I don't know. Yeah. It's a, a very, it's a very surprising come and thing. Say, you know. He said that we do not... He, came very strongly at HR and say that he doesn't understand this. Yeah. You walk into my office and I say, what are you looking for? You say anything. I don't have a job yeah, called any anything. Job, any job. I don't have a job called anything. But the reason why this person is telling me anything is because they're not even sure what they want. Right. We yeah. really want to hear from you at home because this conversation is even getting heated up right here. We want to hear from you at home. What do you think about that? But as always, we also ask you to send in your WhatsApp videos or rather your comments on today's topic. So this is what you had to say. I'm pursuing Bachelor of Education at the University of Nairobi. My course deals with giving knowledge to the society. My parents are very supportive and I must thank them for that. I can say that my guardians were very supportive of me. They even supported the course I did um, financially, uh, socially, and spiritually. So yes, I can say that they were very, very supportive. I'm pursuing uh, journalism and mass communication at the Technical University of Kenya. My dream of uh, being a journalist uh, started long ago when I was in class eight, but my parents never supported it. And so when I finished form four in 2012, I had to stay home for four years because my dad didn't want me to go to school to do journalism. And uh, he wanted me to do, to do teaching rather. And so uh, this made it impossible for me. And uh, my uncle, I had to talk to my uncle who went to uh, talk to him to, you know, let him know that uh, doing what I don't love w w wouldn't make me happy or wouldn't make them happy either. My name is Judith Sabina Akini, taking communication, majoring in public relations. I was a little bit confused about which communication I wanted to major in, but due to my parents' help, I got to know about public relations and that's what I wanted. My parents played a major role in helping me choose this course. Wow. All right. Thank you so much for your honest feedback. And if you're online, more specifically Twitter, we're asking you tonight, are the lessons we learn in school practically applicable in the real world? So tweet us and we'll be able to give this to you at home, all right? Because this really helps you understand the new curriculum that is coming up and that will be taking shape come 2018. Um, Amos, I have to ask you um, the issue of parents, because it's also a sensitive aspect. They are um, a big stakeholder in this. Do parents not know their kids sometimes? I mean, at the end of the day, yes, I understand that parents um, do not necessarily make for you the decision at the end, but they do play a critical role. They won't be the ones sitting in class, but they will pay for your school fees. They actually, it's true. It only comes from two fronts. Number one, 
most of us parents are reliving our lives through our children. <laughs> we want to achieve what, what we need to achieve through your children. Number two is the real frustration that parents have to go through. You finished high school, you finished college, you have to come back to my house, and I don't know what to feed you on. Mm. Otherwise, I think for me, in what you were saying, it's, it's a serious contradiction. Here you're telling us about the 21st century that you cannot just chat where it's going to. And once again, you're going ahead to to really prescribe that at three years you now need to start doing three subjects, I can tell you for sure. I'll share my story. So that the young people out there who don't know what they're doing, I want to encourage them that you are right on the right track. After Form 4, I did my degree in education, Kiswahili, History, Special Education. I did my master's in project management. Before I went to do what I'm doing, accounts, finance, and investment. And I'm doing my PhD in education finance, and I'm quite happy. After that, I'm going to do my degree in law. Feel, feel nice, education is for knowledge purposes, mm -hmm. where a job gets you along the way, feel good, let nobody condemn you to feel that, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 Right. Who's going to be paying fees for you when you're doing course after course? No job, no nothing. You're just doing course. That's is anyone problem, paying you yeah. to just go to school? Honestly, that's not a problem. Why is not? Are a you getting? Because I am looking at education from a fulfillment point. I don't think it's more of a philosophical point. Yeah. 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 You're taking education oh. to what it's yeah. what he was alluding to. Yeah. The very fundamental of yeah. education. Yeah. You know, the problem we have in this country is that uh, we want. For instance, we've taken training at the university level, mm -hmm. and that's where we've lost it. Developed countries don't allow training at the university level. Mm -hmm. Training is supposed to happen at technical institute level. Yeah. That's why even you go to countries like Germany yeah. or countries like Japan, if you have to be an engineer, yeah. you have to, to have got a diploma in engineering and practice for not less than seven years, mm -hmm. and somebody to recommend that actually you arrive to go and do a degree in engineering. Mm -hmm. But if a problem in this country whereby everything, including being a farmer, you're told that you need to get a degree. But that's where you're coming from. You say you are proof that 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 you First of all, I don't even believe uh, that we are at loggerheads on it. We are mm. actually speaking the same thing. You talked about fulfillment, which is the essence. At the end of the day, it all boils down mm. to that. And also financial um, and also material prosperity mostly follows people who are doing something that they love. And for me, practical examples in Kenya. You know, in Kenya, Kenya is an interesting country. We have uh, people like Mariga who are playing football in Europe, who are really earning in, uh, mm. in, 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 in millions of pounds. So, but one thing I like to ask people whenever I'm doing my trainings even, uh, at what age did Mariga's uh, and, uh, and Wanyama's dad start encouraging them? to play football. Or is it that you just finished campus and then yes, say, oh, I love right. ball? So that I think that is what my, my dear here is trying to, to bring out. Like, it takes investment. It does take some time. And the question is, if you have, if you can discover what you're good at, at uh, say, grade three or class three, mm -hmm. why do I need to have you Deuce. wander about in some wilderness mm -hmm. and then I start working on your, we start working on at your talent at 25. You're 26. confused, you don't even know. So what we're saying, yeah. we're not stigmatizing the person who has not yet found what they love. Mm -hmm. people, we know people like Susan Boyle. You can Google yes. Susan Boyle if you, if you don't know who Susan Boyle is. Mm -hmm. She found her, her she, she was discovered in her 50s. In Kenya, we have many people who started acting maybe much later. And that's not the point, it's not to stigmatize them. The point is to say, why not if we can start investigating early and nurturing early? Speaking of talent, yes. speaking of talent, this right here we always have a special aspect that is always focused on art corner. Asseli, what do you have for us today? I'm going to this week to me an artist, a German painter and an impressionist. He expresses himself according to how Benyana feel about environment. Uchali ni kikutana na yale niambia Buddha yake hakuwa supportive but mother yake ndio support. Cheki who you artist. Sababu again pia napenda African African stuff. Okay, mini artist. Sababu the moment I am a mini painter uh, niko fixed to one to one field or one style or one method of working but mina joka kama artist because art ni broad uh, mostly na do paintings uh, charcoals uh, kuna charcoal pieces kuna pen because uh, then uh, now na jaribu kuingia into more uh, into sculpting 
Now we have small pieces of uh, wire, wire sculpting, uh, miniatures. So we explore, because art we explore too. So this is the limit. Okay, so we concentrate so much on the style, style it come. But we have to check pieces of mobs, stuff heavy, and the stuff that captures the slums. Because I believe there is beauty for slums. You know, style that we bring out with pieces of First inspiration that come in the talk about God. Kwanza. So we can get creation yote, you know, masterpiece, God Aliweka. Yeah, so I believe. Inspiration is going to be God, you nature, na okay, entire creation. Then human behaviors and activities, uh, and also animals. Okay, when you say that you are a game, 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 you are So, personally, challenges are going to be find shows. To find shows, you are a show. Mazio ni niyo ni hard kwanza. Sometimes kwa maatisi wenye ndio wanaanza kupick up uh, do ya buy materials. Kwa zona chiki, hakuna msimu ya tutoka from nowhere. Akama kwambia ni aje, unitaka charcoal, unitaka paint, unitaka brushes, shika do in Dubai. So ni artist mwenye mazio find out. Benja atafika kwa hiyo extent ya, hakuna mat enough materials. So hiyo ni mambo na cap capital. Uh, then, uh, cap okay, capital na shows. Ju kupatizo staff, mazio lazimu grind. Then, uh, Matisse doing on a work accepted, Sana Cossetti. Okay, Madango Mekua supportive was in between dogs and him so do of actually the physical impacts. And do Madango del Coms or Kwanza Kuni by a sketchbook co family. Okay, you didn't hit that. Uh, I'm on a key to ye, Buddha or Sangino Jaona. So you know more appreciate Sana. But again, at a year could do evoke Tambo, Nilin Jobiang Lisha and Kadisenda Kwa full time artist. I decided I'm going to have a job. So society na jua art si job. Art no sonya me wa sonya de direction even don't check. But and not until the ni vitu sasi yansa kujipa. That's what apart our sonya zako. Oh, mazee i job ya kunda sonya jua in a job. But in the meantime, before I'm self capo, yes si job. Then ah, kuna time ni makona issue ni kwa church. Jumi ni artist mu 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 gen ah mu understand sana. Uh, I need take notes. So I need to church. I need to take sketches and go for the preacher. I need to say, I need say, I need to go to the pulpit. So I need take notes. I need to 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 take notes. So I need to report. I need to share. Because I need to go to the church. I need to go to the church. So check it. Okay, you weekend in Lendevo, but in Lecha, Nikio and Amoni Tasasa. The next time I come, and Kitoka, I'm saying, I'm here, and I come to Bongenoa by Vinje. Ah, Nini Kapen, as in Umekwa, how long have you been in this church? I'm going to be in this church for now, like years. Ah, Nikon a testimonial, so if you see. So, what's the only age Kuli artists come as in your senior as I make impact for society? Okay. Kitunja Gonda Mitashoni. Artists niyo te mnyanya kujaribu kumeki ita utia and akudu art ato yao mentality ya society na mfikiri yani ni cause always do anything kama ukona niyo mentality ati mazoe watu msaada nchukulia this way this way no you just talk kwa wengine kana artist always kana politician sio muntaka kwa artist kana artist ju artist na taku influence too positively ata show wengine society eco na na wasi wengine niyo te wanda katu corrupt mind z. Do I talk kind of artist work, sketch, do more sketches? Yeah, paint a paint. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is that that is just talent. All right, so let's wind up the conversation here in studio. Titus, your closing remarks, because even behind the scenes, it's been quite a debate. But Titus, your closing remarks. Uh, mine would just be to say that uh, as parents, teachers in this country, and also the young people, we need to have a different mindset 
towards education. We need to have a paradigm shift as to how we think about developing ourselves and, and uh, going through school. And we need to start uh, investigating ourselves. We need to start researching on our gifts, our skills, and building all that, reaching out to mentors, etc., at an early age. Sarah, very quickly. Um, I would just say that if you haven't found yourself, it's not too late. If you are already after school, you can seek coaching, career academic and career planning coaching. It would guide you. If you have already, you're still in school, you can also seek um, do assessments that would show you your strengths. Amos? Thank you. Um, it took Finland 40 years to build the best system of education in the world. Um, number two is these things will not happen overnight. Mm. So don't think that 2018 there will be a significant change. Okay. Lastly, there are no careers meant for certain people. <laughs> Okay. We are told those of us who talk must be lawyers. No. Richard, very so, quickly. I think um, I'll, quote, uh, I'll quote Theodore Roosevelt. He said, do what you can with what you have where you are. Be it the skill set you have, the talents you have, just do what you can with what you have where you are. Richard, Amos, Sarah, Titus, thank you guys so much for coming tonight here in Youth Cafe. And of course, for you at home, watching every Friday at 8 p.m., of course, we'll be able, we'll reach out to you guys. I've seen quite a number of feedback here on um, Twitter, so we'll be reaching out to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Zinzi Kibiku. Have yourselves a lovely weekend. And of course, the hottest man in Eastern Central Africa, Brian Asseli Nakuambia. Hapa hivivi ya tuzangu ni Boots Fanatics. Kamu nata wakuzi get. Thank you very much, Patrice Agunda. You guys have a good night. Change your Friday night, you want to date it. Next week.